Okay, now we go on to stage three of the system. As you can see, I've got 64 times 64 here, and this is like the number code of the next step. Now, the first step, you've got the 64 properties of the object, and those 64 properties are different functions, you know, of our intelligence, different functioning devices that we already have. So the next step is the 64 times 64, namely the interaction, the instinctive reaction, interactions and integration of the whole system. You know, you've got the 64, the 64 properties. Now you've got 4096 changes or that things can change and influence things from one property to, to the other. 64 times 64, 4096. But to work out what these mean, we should divide them up into groups of four. So there's 1,024 groups of four. So we'll start off with the top one, you know, with steps or changes one and two. And you've got 0101 or 0202. These are where there is no change. It's just zero one, which is focus, and zero two, which is like respond, and then you have zero one zero two, and zero two zero one. So you've got a change. You've got a change. So it's these pairs of change, uh, the pairs, the odd number and the even number, like one and two, three and four, five and six. It's those pairs that cons consist of the major interest and major change of the device. So it's, so it's in these four that we have to figure out the meaning of these separate changes, these separate switches, these separate steps. You understand what I mean by that in, in, in a moment when we, we, we go on to the, the next one. And it's something you know I'm aware of that we do normally. We consider the pairs 19 and 20 then 53 and 54. So you, you've got four possibilities again. 19 1953, 1953, 2054. Now it's when we study what these mean, we can start to understand this, this sequence of action, these instructions. So 19 is inspection. You know, it's approaching the object, it's inspecting the object of 54 is finding that object in a catalog in our mind. So what is this means is we're seeing a pattern and then we're identifying that pattern as part of an object. So we see a shape and then we realize that the whole object there from that particular pattern. We see a pattern, say the pattern of our wallet or a textbook and, and therefore we know that the whole object is there and this is this process we see an object we see we see a pattern a two-dimensional pattern and then we identify that as an object from the catalog again 1953 is seeing that pattern and then you know scaling it up or down to to what to, 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 to identify it this could be considered to be rotating the object, the 54. All of these are the meanings and functions of the different properties of the 64, which I've gone through in detail in the steps of entoptic hopscotch. But now we're considering the next step, these changes from one property to the other property, how different properties, different functions influence each other. 
and this is just sh trying to show you how identifying an object starts off with identifying a pattern you know a visual image and then that goes into our into our catalog to identify which object it is and therefore we can then fill in that aspect of reality fill in those super pixels with that image of that object in that position so this is the key the 64 bits are the proper 64 properties and then the next level is these 64 64 starting with 0101 these 64 changes or steps and so we see a visual you know a visual image and that is like a cartoon that is 11 to 12 11, the pairs 11 to 12 we see a visual image and then that is a cartoon we draw a cartoon on that to identify different areas of it we cartoon first our childhood memories are cartoons our basic memory structure is cartoons so first of all we have a car we have a visual image and then that is divided up into a cartoon and different areas that are then identified and then those different areas are identified as part, you know surfaces of objects you see 56 55 and 56 56 is seeking an object and 55 is finding an object obviously they've got deeper and more complex meanings I'm trying to show you the basic sort of idea that we cartoon it we, we identify the pattern we look at that pattern in the catalogue and all these different steps are identified by these numbers and then we can have a set of instructions you know to inspect for that certain object You know, to keep look. This just means there's a pair, the 19 and 20. It's my symbol for the pairs interacting. This is two pairs interacting. So, for every four, there's a set of meanings, different inter interactions, and we can write those down in in this sort of equation. Which we can, uh, which I think we should restrict to six terms. So this can be a six-term equation, and then this square is just these two nineteens, you know, squares beginning with the same thing, inspecting the different objects. Now all of these are going to have different meanings and it's going to get very complex and so this is where we need cooperation and we need to share as things develop. But this thing gives you the next level of the programming structure on these numbers and to understand all, all of these 1024 for the functioning of the device and the functioning with our own psychology.